Joe from Vintage Motocross Q and A. We're at the Folsom Mall here in Hangtown. It's the weekend of the first National Outdoor Series. We're here with the Legion Heroes Tour. We've got some beautiful bikes on display, and one that caught my eye was this beautiful Mako. Sure enough. Bill the Prado restored this bike, and we're trying to figure out if it was actually Danny Magoo Chandler's bike or not. Bill, tell us, is this Danny's original bike or wasn't it? No, it's a replica bike that uh, is pretty authentic, though. It's true to form. It's got everything on it that we ran during the 250 Nationals. Mm -hmm. um, partway through the season, we achieved some other parts that we were able to put on it. We had a different frame. We ended up with a work cylinder, and we ended up with uh, a different pipe. And, uh, that's about it, really. That's all I was able to, to get us during the year. How long did it take you to replicate this bike, and where did you begin? It took me about four years to accumulate all the parts. Um, actually, put the bike together was not that big a process. It took me probably three or four days to put it together. But it took me about four years to accumulate the parts because you just can't find this stuff anymore. Now, I see on this bike some of the hardware is... Well, certainly not production. It looks like aluminum or titanium. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, most of most of the nuts and bolts on all the factory bikes at that time were nuts were uh, titanium and aluminum, and that's what this is. They're all titanium and aluminum parts. Uh, at that time, we were running titanium axles, titanium pivot bolts. Uh, most all the fasteners on the bike were titanium and or real lightweight aluminum. Mm -hmm. Uh, the forks we have on this now today are just reproduction Fox forks. The ones that we have on our bike were actually handmade factory forks that Fox made for our bike. Now, I understand we have uh, a rare opportunity that we're seeing this bike here in Northern California, and it may be one of the last times because this bike is on its way into a museum. Where's it going, Bill? That's true. It's, uh, it's going to the Motocross Hall of Fame in Ohio, and um, it'll be there in probably three or four weeks. Um, so this is probably the last time we've seen on the West Coast for probably five or six years at least. So uh, get out to Hangtown and check it out. It's a great bike. It's uh, as authentic as you can get. There's really not anything on this bike different than what we ran in the 250 Nationals. It's pretty much a factory make a bike other than the forks are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, we're missing an answer crossbar pad here, but that is in being produced right now. We're trying to replicate that but again parts for these 35 year old bikes are pretty tough to come by. Don't I know it. Bill, you've done an absolutely amazing job replicating this bike. It's a wonderful tribute to Dan Blue Channel who I know was a good friend of yours and an amazing rider. Thank you. Man. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Thanks, and we'll Joe. see you over the weekend. Pleasure. This is Joe from Vintage Motocross QA. We'll be right back.